For this tutorial, I was lucky enough to collaborate with the hugely talented Anna Arthur. We chose to theme our designs around Valentine's Day. However, whilst mine is very soft and romantic, Anna's look is much more for those suffering a broken heart. For the base, I loaded a sponge with white face paint and then I mixed in a small amount of pink. Using a stencil with tiny heart cutouts, I gently applied the paint around my eyes. I wanted the base to look very soft and very subtle, so I was careful not to apply too much paint. Next, I took a Paradise Prisma cake in the colour Fleur and I loaded a flat brush with the last two colours. With the pale pink always on the outside edge, I painted five petal shapes and I made sure that I left a small space right in the middle. Then I painted another flower just above the first one. and then a final smaller shape just on the top of the cheekbone. I added in a few rosebuds around the design and to paint this all you do is a small arch shape with a small U shape directly on top. And then I also painted this same bud shape right in the middle of the bigger roses to finish them off. Taking a petal brush, I loaded it up with white paint and then I carefully ran the very tip in the dark red colour from the Prisma block. By pressing the brush down fully onto the skin, you can easily create these lovely two-tone flowers. I added a few of these petals around the design, just filling in any large spaces between the roses. Using the same double loading technique, I took a bright green with a dark green on the tip and I painted in a few leaves. For more definition and detail, I used a white paint on a number two round brush and I gave the roses and leaves an outline. Now I was very careful not to make the lines too harsh or perfect. I added white middles to the smaller flowers and then I went round the design filling in any spaces with a few clusters of dots. For the lips I used the lighter colour from the Prisma block all over. And then I took the darker red and I blended it in all around the outside edge. For a little bit of sparkle I used an iridescent white glitter over my eyelids and then I also added a small amount to some of the flowers. Once I was finished with the face, I decided to use exactly the same techniques and continue the design down onto my chest. 